You know, these old vases tell a story. This is actually a volute crater, which is a device that's used to mix wine and water. And this volute crater tells the story of how Agatha and Galileen's friendship was destroyed. Let's take a look. Agatha, why are you ignoring me? My husband said he had fun at the Symposium last night. Well, Agatha certainly was avoiding Galileen because Agatha had been kind enough to have Galileen's husband, Jason, invited to Agatha's husband, Leon's symposium. But Jason did not act right at the symposium. He was the worst party guest ever. In fact, this is what he said upon entering the symposium. <laughs> this androne is horrible. Mine is far better. <laughs> androne is the room where symposiums take place, and they're usually the most extravagantly decorated rooms in the house. So insulting the decoration of the symposium room was rude right off the bat for Jason's behavior. But let's flip to the reverse side of the volute crater and take a look. Here we can see Jason getting drunk and having his Keelix spill on the floor. What a mess. Jason got even more out of control. As he continued to get drunker, he had ran into the kitchen, gotten an amphora, and taken the lid of the amphora, thrown it to the ground, declaring that he was Perseus and the amphora was Medusa. With this sword, <laughs> I, Perseus, slay thee, Medusa. So this volute crater sadly tells the story of the end of Agatha and Galene's friendship. Agatha was most definitely avoiding Galene. And because of women's station in Greek life, Agatha felt too awkward to tell Galene just how bad her husband Jason had acted, but she is now avoiding Galene permanently. There went their friendship. Isn't that a crazy story this old Volute crater tells?